Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a Porsche Cayenne and you need to remove or replace ignition codes. Today with us we will explain how to do that, everything from start to finish. We will cover guys what needs to be done to actually remove ignition codes. Some of them are easier, other ones are hard to reach and we will explain about all of them. Before we start, let me tell you if you need to buy any parts, tools, ignition codes, spark plugs, I would recommend to do your spark plugs too guys. Check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get all these parts and where we buy all our parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing every single car we get at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you so with all that being said let's go ahead start on it and show you guys exactly okay where the ignition codes are located and how to remove them we'll demonstrate on a 4.5 engine but even if you have a 4.8 the procedure may be very very similar guys so okay with that being said guys we just have the intake removed here and we have the air filter boxes removed due to the fact that we have enormous amount of uh, uh, of leaks oil leaks from the valve cover okay check it out so we'll be doing valve cover replacement gasket valve cover gasket replacement coming soon we just finished font differential replacement and engine mounts replacement that's a weak spot on those guys so now if you are guys working on the right side of the engine facing the engine the right side you need to replace just single ignition code it's not too bad but if you're on the left side we need to explain about more things so ignore that this is removed you don't need to do any of that guys you will need to remove your vacuum pumps okay vacuum pumps you can see they have guys okay they have three okay three hoses here uh three excuse me one hose one connector okay and three bolts the connector okay this is the connector here you just uh pry that thing towards the back and you disconnect it remove the three bolts with torque socket okay that's what the torque looks like right here and you can get that vacuum pump out you need to get it out so you can remove the ignition cause now uh, let's explain what else you need to do here you have four screws with the torques again we remove three of them we'll just show you on one and you need to remove all these four screws so we will go ahead okay and show you now okay how to actually remove that screw okay and remove that cover and we can get guys okay two this cover okay you lift it up it has two rubber bushings that hold it in place and it comes out you can see now the rubber bushings they're right here you can see one of them them got a little bit deformed and you can get to the ignition codes on this side what if you're doing the ignition codes on the other side okay uh, and we'll explain how to remove them because we're not done guys here we remove that plastic cover but here you will need to disconnect the engine torque mount okay that bolt needs to come out you need to pre-loosen this bolt so you can remove that one now i recommend to go ahead and get that bracket loose as well you have four bolts with reverse torque sockets okay like those you can see what the reverse torque looks like okay let me focus quick okay still having hard time come on yeah like that and if you uh, pre-loosen those bolts and remove that bracket you can easily guys remove that cover as well and you can get to this ignition cause as well in the meantime you need to remove your vacuum pump on this side as well so looking guys at the engine that way now okay this is okay known as bank one here okay this side this cylinder head facing the Porsche guy and this vehicle on the left side and you have cylinder number one two three and four so if you have a code for bad ignition code on cylinder number two it's this one cylinder number three four is this one cylinder number one if you have a code for cylinder four five and six they're actually on bank two the right cylinder head and you have cylinder four five six seven eight oh excuse me five six seven eight so one two three four five six seven eight so let's say we have ignition code that's bad on cylinder number six let's go ahead and do number six we get a reverse torque socket and we need to remove actually okay that bolt there that holds the ignition code now you can see that how we have an oil leak here and you may even have oil leak inside inside the spark box this is because of that valve cover gasket guys so uh, uh we'll definitely need to fix that we'll, re we'll be replacing valve cover gasket next okay just still waiting on a few parts and you will be able to find a video on our channel 
Okay, perfect. That one came out. Now, go ahead, push that thing down. Okay, let me see if I will be able to disconnect it. Oh, I will not be able to, guys. Okay, perfect. Came out. Careful, don't pull for the wires. You may break it, guys. Now, grab the ignition coil. Okay. Let's see if it will be easier to pull it with a wire, maybe. Okay, or no wire. Let's see how it will be. You need to grab it. Twist a little bit. Okay, and that thing will be stuck big time. Let me go ahead and grab it good. Okay, and see if I can pull it out with two fingers. Okay, and you can see it just comes out. Careful not to break it, by the way. Okay, if you're replacing it, it's fine, but still don't break it inside. This is, guys, the ignition coil. Now, we don't have a bit of time to inspect to make sure, okay, that you don't have any oil leaks inside the spark plug. Well, because if you do, bad valve cover gas can, can cause that. We can see we started leaking here, so... Uh, we don't want that to make all its way to the spark plug because we can, it can cause uh, misfire as well. So, you can see guys, that's how you remove spark, uh, ignition coil, excuse me, uh, putting it together, practically in reverse order, we took it apart. If you want to see where to buy replacement parts for a really good price, we'll put the link in the description of the video below. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.